Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and today we are back with the Pimax Crystal only today we get to check out something really cool and that is the Pimax wide field of view lenses that's right we are finally getting wide field of view for the crystal I have been hounding them for months wondering when these were going to come out and now they're in my hand and we're going to put them in the headset stick around if you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator or simply interested in supporting the channel, please consider joining us on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future releases that come down the road. Patreon link can be found in the description below. Alright guys, so first off, right off the bat, if you guys are interested in picking up the Pimax Crystal or any of the uh, peripherals for it, make sure that you use my link down in the description below. It will save you guys some money and this is definitely an expensive piece of hardware. Second thing that I want to talk about is the wide field of use lenses are not yet in this. At the time, right now, everything's going to be in order as you see it on video is how I'm going to experience it. Third, I have been very, very critical over this because my biggest argument and complaint between the 8KX and the Crystal was the field of view. The 240 degrees published field of view that is listed with the Pimax 8KX was really hard to let go of. I'm a big DCS world player as well, and especially in single seat, centerline seat, whatever it may be, aircraft, that wide field of view is freaking amazing, especially at low altitude or in any kind of uh, formation flying or like air-to-air -air refueling. That wide field of view really offers some very good situational awareness as well as immersion. Things I'm going to be looking for. Uh, I'm going to be looking for any kind of distortion. How are the lenses actually really applying that wide field of view? Can I see the outer rim of the mask? Am I completely encapsulated? Uh, the reason why I say it is because at the large field of view with the Pimax 8KX, it was really, you had to look for the frame of the crystal. Uh, it was all screen, man. It, just about. Um, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to walk you guys through the steps on camera on how to install the lenses. We're going to do that together. Again, I have not done any of this at all. We're going to get into Microsoft Flight Simulator and show you guys what my experience is. So you guys are going to see everything in the raw and I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I'm feeling, what I'm seeing. We will be doing a DCS World presentation of the wide field of view in a separate video, again, because I was so hypercritical about this um, with uh, DCS World specifically in mind. Um, so everything that you guys are about to see is going to be um, first time impressions. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you find it useful. And again, if you guys decide to purchase any of the products, even some of the things like the head strap, make sure to use that coupon link down below. Hopefully save you guys some cash. All right, let's get to the installation. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and start getting this thing open. Now, you guys are hearing all of this live. Nothing is voiced over on this one. So there's no option but for the reactions to be firsthand. So here they are. They are thick. These are thick boys. Wow, they're heavy, dude. You know what? I actually think I'm just going to leave those in there for the moment. Do they come with, I'm gonna disconnect the Pimax here. There we go. I think we're gonna pull the face mask off. This one is always a pain in the ass. This, just this one right here, there it goes, come on. There we go. All right, looks like they need a little Phillips screwdriver. Let me verify, yep, there it is right there. So they go right over the other ones. All right. All right, so back at it. Very gentle. Set this down here for just a second. 
think there's one or two threads that are sort of holding on to it. Oof. Okay. There's one out. That is extremely intimidating, by the way. All right. I want to get these on quickly. I don't like that they are exposed. The actual screen is exposed. And you want to take caution. Keep our fingers off the, especially on the inside of the lens. This would be a lot easier if my hands were bigger. And they do have a protective film. So there's one. Looking for anything that indicates right eye versus left, but it looks like this has got to be the left eye. Like all the magnets are seated. Got to get that screw out. It's not threaded, so that part's a little tricky I'm really trying to keep my fingers away from the lenses that part's disconcerting to me like a lot okay I think I'm gonna use this as best I can to cover the original I don't mind the top of the glass I can clean that can clean all of it really, but it's just nerve wracking. Whoo! Okay. There's one. One of those times you wish you had smaller hands. Whoa. Those are good magnets. <laughs> you grabbed right onto it. Okay. Same thing. Let's get the screw out. Maybe it is threaded. Remember these lenses are, are your life force. That's that's it. You damage these and it's a bad day. So I think I have that reversed. It's really not gonna sit very well. I was kind of hoping that it would. But at least gives me something to hold on to while I put it in the bag. And like I said, you can clean it always. Just be careful. If you guys do have to clean it, don't use Windex. And if you do use ammonia free, um, and make sure that you use a soft edgeless, edgeless microfiber towel. Um, best place to get those if you guys are curious about where to get good microfiber towels for this is either your eyeglass lenses will obviously work or um, auto detailing shops, stores online, whatever, auto detail. 
is a great place to find that kind of stuff too. This is theoretically not anymore. <laughs> it was supposed to be a magnetic screwdriver. Making me nervous. I just don't feel like that side's seated real well. Let me lift that back up. I mean, it's on the magnets, I guess, so. It has a really strong magnet, though. These things are no joke. I mean, it's there. Okay. It threads in right away, so it's obviously aligned. Take the other one. And again, lined right up. Come on. Always fight with one side or the other. It's not that it's hard, it's just sometimes getting them to line up just right feels awkward, and that's it. They're in there. And because of the shape, I see no reason why you still couldn't use prescription lenses with those as well. And I'll go ahead and put those on too. We'll see how that goes. All right, let's go ahead and uh, see what's like inside the sim. That's, that's all there is to it at this point. All right, so right off the bat. Definitely got the wide field of view. Around the edges, on the very far out, it's a little blurry though. So I don't know if that's just the way that they're shaped or what, but I can see like a blur line. But it's not terribly, it's not terribly awful. It's not, it's not like killing the immersion or anything like that. Let's, uh, let's get the aircraft going here. You can also see sort of a line right here, and I, I don't know if that's just... What wasn't there before is I can tell sort of where the two lenses on my eyes almost are overlapping. I should probably take off, huh? <laughs> None of the clarity is lost. None of the resolution is lost. I am getting a much better sense of speed and motion, so they score on that one. I can very clearly see what's happening out here. I can see the window vent um, without moving my eyes. I know you guys can't see that, obviously. So um, I'm getting the sense of things going past me over here. It's expanded far enough where I can see almost zero separation between the lens and the side of the headset. So it does feel like they've done a really good job of capturing the wraparound feeling. There's a little bit. If I'm if I literally turn my eyes toward you guys, then yeah, I can see the frame. And even looking straight, I can tell that it's there if I am paying attention to it, which obviously right now I am very much so doing. Um, I don't see any issue with the, like, again, if I look for it, I can see where the two lenses are here, if I'm looking for it. Uh, but once I start glancing out in the distance, that's not noticeable. What is noticeable is the shimmering around the edges of the, len the lenses. Again, the very outside edge of the lens, I can tell where it is, um, and I can see it. Um, but again, it's not, it's not game breaking, it's not changing the immersion, it's not... Let's take it down low. That's that's where this is really going to matter. 
And the reason why I say down low is as trees are passing, terrain's passing, that's where you're going to get your sense of speed, right? Yeah, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Um, <laughs> you guys probably can see the, the chicken crab grin I have going on here. That was cool. Uh, they, they did get that back. That's nice. That's very nice. Uh, <laughs> whoa! Sh sh shoot, shoot. I didn't say it. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. So that is a very comforting feeling. Uh, th that is, it's nice that they captured that back. Getting down low, everything came to life like, like I was looking for. Uh, and that I missed from the Pimax AKX. Um, so they scored on that one. And down low like this, I can't see that shimmering at all. Uh, I think what the shimmering is coming from is the blue sky. Um, so if I'm looking, but like even right now, I'm, I'm literally using my eyes and I'm looking up to the top of the lenses and I can't see it up there. But if I climb back up, What's my airspeed? You can tell I got scared. I, I kicked my throttle way back. <laughs> okay, but what's weird is like now I, I almost don't see it at all. Okay, there it is. It's when I turn my head. Let's get down low again, and I'll turn my head a bit more. I'm not getting any kind of glare or anything like that off the lenses. Yeah, see, down low, I, I can't. Down low, I don't see it because you, you, you can't pay attention to that. Um, yeah, it's cool. This is cool. They got it. They got it. This is much better. I can't, I can't wait to do this in DCS. This is going to be awesome. I wonder if you're really allowed to do this in like a Mooney. I bet they don't want you getting down this low. <laughs> as far as the field of view inside the cockpit, it's it's natural. Everything on that side is blurry, as it should be, because it's not the focal point, right? So they they got that. Yeah, yeah, that, that was neat. Okay, cool. All right, all right. I'm I'm very pleased. Very pleased. Uh, so let's let's move into to final thoughts on these, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep flying, and, and we'll talk. Okay, so obviously with the final thoughts, you guys can probably put it together. Um, I I still um, obviously in general aviation, airline aviation, something like Microsoft Flight Simulator, you're probably not gonna be uh, down quite that low particularly often, right? Um, so I will say that the the glaring and the shimmering on the very edge of the lenses is a bit distracting. Um, that is absolutely the case. However, um, I think that it's very hard to really talk about that because even as I'm already here and I'm focused on it and I'm thinking about it, this is a first impressions video, so my brain is very much so on what is good and what is bad. As I start looking out in the distance and, and turning your head as you would in real life, I mean, in real life, I'm not going to look out the, the face, the windshield or, or the instrument panel and turn my head, my eyes as far to the left as I can trying to see out the window. I'm going to turn my head. And when I turn my head, it's fine. Uh, it, you know, it, it's what you would expect to do. Um, what you're gaining is that, that wider sense of being inside the cockpit. It's, it's a much more immersive feeling being inside the cockpit. Um, I don't see any shimmering or glaring happening on the lenses themselves. So uh, one of the things that I noticed is that the original lenses seem to be more uh, convex versus uh, these that looked a bit more flat. Uh, I, th I think it's that what, pancake, right? But see, I, I know that the outside of the lens has to take... I'm not a professional on the lenses, so I'm not going to pretend to be. Uh, so those of you who understand more about the actual shape of the lenses, by all means, feel free to chime in down below. Um, but I don't see any glaring. There's no shimmering. There's no reflection from one side of the lens to the other. Uh, so, you know, nothing's changed in, in that particular aspect. Um, the visual quality, we did not change anything on the resolution. We are still running the native Pimax resolution inside of Microsoft Flight Simulator here. 
Um, FPS obviously would not be impacted at that point because we didn't change anything from the software level, and that's important to remember. Uh, yes, I got the sh the the. I can. It's like I'm looking through. It's like if you were to look in through eyeglasses and you were to turn your eyeglass on its edge and look through it. That's what I'm seeing on the very, very, very edges, the very outer peripheral range. Um, and again, if I literally turn my eyes to focus on that and then I have to turn my head, I can kind of see it. Um, so they've really done a great job with this. this. I think this is an amazing solution. I think that it's very innovative. It was very well thought out. And I will tell you guys this. I have been hounding, as I t stated earlier, I've been hounding my Pimax um, uh, representative about these lenses for a long time, ever since I first heard of them. So it was probably four or five months ago. And I will tell you this, and I'm very uh, happy that Pimax went this route. Um, they have gone through multiple renditions of these and multiple times I have been told, hey, Mike, we think we got it. And then it's, hey, Mike, no, nope, no, nope. we decided after uh, our testers looked at, they're still just not quite right. So I know they went through a lot of different variations before these were released. But this is a great enhancement. It is a wonderful and very welcomed improvement to the Pimax Crystal. You are maintaining the clarity, and now we're getting that wide field of view range. Uh, this is this is awesome. Um, I will be doing a follow-up video with the uh, wide field of view in DCS World, so make sure that you guys watch for that. Um, I wanted to keep the two videos separate as the two simulators are separate, the two purposes are separate. Um, with the DCS World, we're obviously going to be in a single seat aircraft in the center seat position. You're not going to have that secondary seat. You're going to be flying low. You're going to be flying fast. Uh, it's just a different flight experience in DCS World versus a Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I decided for this particular configuration to break those two up. Because, for example, the wide field of view in Microsoft Flight Simulator is absolutely fantastic, but for me, the big driver was um, uh, DCS World, right? So this is going to be, this is definitely very, very welcome, very, very nice. Pimax, I think you've done a great job. Guys, if you are interested in more information on the wide field of view lenses, be sure to check a link down in the description below where you can uh, look at purchase information. I do highly recommend it. Yes, uh, be watchful of stock option and things like that. If they are out of stock, just keep your eyes out, guys. Um, I obviously have no control or say in, in the, the stocking of their products. I know that some people are still waiting on the comfort strap, which I still very much so recommend. Um, even if you guys have to wait a while, this is absolutely a, a uh, it, it was a godsend. Uh, it made a huge difference in the comfort of the Pimax Crystal, especially with that forward weight. Uh, so between the, the comfort strap and now the wide field of view lenses, it's going to be really hard to beat these. Make sure that you guys also, if you are interested in picking up the Pimax Crystal, make sure that or the uh, lenses or any of the uh, comfort kits, make sure that you guys check the uh, link in the description below. Use my coupon code, save you guys a little bit of money on your purchase. As always, folks, stay safe and healthy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it useful. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you in the next one.